Hey, happy Friday, my lights. How is everybody doing? We're going to get started right away on today's daily Friday reading. And um, I hope everybody's feeling really good today. Uh, first card up is the Page of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Ace of Wands, guys. So this is this is intelligence, okay? Intelligence on steroids. So I have this really intelligent masculine I'm talking to right now. Everything you touch turns to gold, okay? Um, I see that you're working really hard and your hard work is getting ready to pay off. Something that is bringing the sun is coming through this hard work. Something really good that, you know, this is everything you're expecting, but more so. There's going to be some unexpected things that are coming along with this too. It, it wasn't always like this though. All right. I see that you spent time previously, um, kind of feeling left out in the cold financially. You know, you always were a hard worker, but you didn't, you haven't gotten to where you wanted to be up until now, up until recently. And this layout is saying that you can expect all these beautiful things to not only come in for you, unless they already started, but these things are going to flourish for you. Okay. They're just going to continue to get better. Um, you're going to see these changes over time and you're going to be happily surprised by them. All right, guys, here we have the Ace of Pentacles dead center next to the Ten of Pentacles and it balancing out. Guys, this is a, an amazing layout here, okay, because we have you guys right now um, with this Two of Wands uh, making difficult decisions in life, uh, trying to, you know, push through. I want to really show you these cards so that you can see what is going on here for you. All right, Aquas. So here, here is the justice card. Okay. I love the justice card because the justice card tells us that we have some beautiful things coming in to look forward to. All right. We are going to see our justice taste it. We're going to get it. All right. And here is this 10 of pentacles. This is, you've arrived when you receive this card in your reading. Okay. This card's been popping up a lot lately and it, it's just, you know, tons of money in the background, celebration, happiness, um, just uh, people and things, material things in the background. This is you, having everything you could want for, and then some, okay? Along with this wealth and prosperity card right next to it, guys, this is, these two cards alone are simply amazing. This is a lot of money that will be coming into you. So get ready for this, okay? Get ready for that. It's going to bring balance, all right? All of my aquas are going to finally feel like you're balanced out like never before, okay? Guys, this is your justice, okay? This is uh, one of the most positive readings I've seen in a long time. The cards are on fire here. Okay, guys, look. All right. So this is going to bring in a new beginning for Aquarius. Okay. And I have a masculine here. Um, you are going to become this giver. All right. You are going to have so much money <clears throat> that there's going to be a lot of help here. A lot of, um, you know, people helping others financially. You're going to have that kind of money. And they're saying that this change is going to come in very quickly. Okay. And we have the freedom card. You're going to be free. You're going to be experiencing life in a different way than as you know it. Okay. This is a whole new life, a whole new start. All right. So be prepared uh, for this, you know, and I've been talking about this guys, this is coming. All right. So amazing things for my aquas on the horizon, nothing but positivity so far guys. Okay. So also toward the end of this reading, I'm going to pull out, I'm always talking about gratitude and when you stay in gratitude, you're going to raise your vibrations and manifest the most amazing things like that. Okay. So the gratitude Oracle cards that I'm going to pull out, um, they are, a connection to uh, the divine universe and they can um, 
create a link between you and what you would benefit by knowing okay so they're also um something where you can change your perspective they can show you how uh, in order to reveal pathways into calmer and clearer waters for you in your life, okay? So we're going to do that toward the end of the reading, all right? But right now, let's stick to this. This is uh, decision-making for this emperor. Now, this is a boss figure, I want to say, who is making decisions about... Um, something financial going on at the workplace okay this is somebody who owns the company um or has complete and utter control over you know the the monies in the company the financial aspects in the company and this person is right now uh, making a decision on whether or not to end the company or, you know, try to continue on with the company and they are going to get clarity on this. It looks like this Ace of Swords is going to be something positive, the outcome of this. So if some of you or one of you is uh, hearing rumors at work and fearing that your company is going to be laying off or possibly shutting down um, and you're hearing these rumors, it looks like it's going to turn out to be a positive thing for you. Okay, so maybe not worry about it until there's something to worry about. You know, that's how I deal with stuff, guys. When you have problems that aren't really problems yet, it doesn't, it, you know, worrying about them doesn't change the result. Okay, it just makes you crazy. All right, so here I'm seeing... Uh, somebody is dealing with something uh, pretty stressful this morning regarding their commitment, the person that they're committed to. Um, this is, I just felt this very deeply from someone. You're wanting something from this person or something you've, you've always wanted, but you, you never really, it never really came in to you the way you wanted it to and it might just be like you wanted to feel secure with this person you wanted this person to make you feel like you could like they have your back and you can trust them and you know just that that warm and fuzzy feeling when you're with this person but instead uh, you ended up having a broken heart and having anxiety with this person. Guys, if I'm talking to you right now and you know who you are, what is the purpose of this relationship? I mean, and I'm not trying to be, you know, mean or anything, but you deserve so much better than this, okay? And you have to know this. You have to know that you are this beautiful white light of God and you are special and you have gifts. We all do. We're all unique but it's time for us guys to come into our authentic selves, be honest with ourselves and realize what it is that we want, you know, from our relationships and from other people in our lives and stand up and take the reins. If people are mistreating us, okay, or bringing us down on the daily, it's time to move on. All right. So let's continue guys. We have the star. Oh my gosh. They love you. The spirit wants you to know that you are just this beautiful and you are so loved. You don't know how much love they have for you. Okay. And we have the empress here. And it looks like you are having this tower moment regarding this king of cups. And right now you're using your intuition. All right. You're using your intuition on this person um, because... Uh, some of you do know, some of you are aware of how um, important you are, okay? And when we think of that, you know, the word self-importance comes up and that's something, you know, that we've always heard is, you know, that's a terrible term. That's self-importance. That's somebody selfish and that's, you know, we, we were told and taught that you know, self-importance is bad. No, you have to come first. Everything, uh, everything comes from within you. You are in control of you and no one else, um, except spirit. Okay. So 
And that has to do with your higher self, guys. Your higher self that you connect to is really spirit. It's one and the same. So you have to put yourself on this pedestal. You have to treat yourself with self-love and dignity at all times, okay? And then and only then your intuition will get stronger for you. Okay, so let's find out. Let's look at these um, beautiful gratitude oracle cards that I have, guys. And let's find out um, what, you know, intentions the universe has for my aquas today and what they have to say uh, regarding these intentions and your perspective on life and see if they can give you a hint on, you know, what pathways is going to be uh, best for you to take right now or, or what kind of perspective is going to help open up these pathways for you and make your life simpler, easier, and easier, just simpler to navigate. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. First card up, guys, is differences. Differences, okay? So um, these cards are beautiful. Um, now we get to the differences, and differences tell us that, you know, when we're born, we're born with a clean slate. We have an open mind. We don't know anything, right? And then things start to slowly uh, be put in our minds, right, by our parents. They start to teach us. Whatever your beliefs are, uh, whatever your parents' beliefs are, I mean to say, is basically what they're going to put into this beautiful mind of yours that is a complete blank slate, right? Um, so, you know, differences. What have your parents, what have you been taught growing up about, you know, uniqueness and differences in people and, you know, differences as in skin color and color of your eyes, um, the way people look, the way people act. And if you had not, let's say we were born without parents, right? Um, just let's, let's just use our imagination. Let's say we're born and um, we have to kind of figure everything out for ourselves. We don't have television showing us the differences and maybe some of our parents that grew up a certain way it might be, you know, telling us things. All right. Um, Let's say we have to figure it out for ourselves, okay? I don't think that we would see these differences. Kids in school, when they're very young, they don't see differences. They love everybody, right? So these things are taught to us. They're put in our mind. So spirit is saying, you know, take it easy on other people. Um, we're all unique. And you know, when we look at other people and we make these, you know, um, decisions or, or thoughts of what, what, who they are and what we think of them, it's really not fair. It's not fair, right? Then we have the perspective card, okay? And we have this um, young person here, okay, looking at these uh, butterflies. Now, the butterflies... Um, you know, they are a sign of change, right? They're a sign of being open, being open to change, being open to seeing things differently, okay? So we need to change our perspective right now, right? We need to see people as our equals, you know, even though everyone has different thoughts, a lot of it isn't even their fault if you think about it, right? So we need to really um, have a different kind of perspective and be grateful that we're all different. Imagine if we were all the same, right? This is about uniqueness, guys. And I've been talking to you about, you know, coming into and being aware of who you really are, right? And just, just allowing yourself to be who you are, not what other people expect from you. Having this perspective is going to be life-changing for you. Okay. And, you know, the bubbles in the background, the, well, they're representing, you know, you might have to pop your bubble and rethink your life. Okay. So all the thoughts that you used to have in your mind, you might want to, you know, change the thinking and just 
you know, try to clear out your mind and have a new perspective on things. Allow people to be their unique selves. Give them that allowance. Give them that freedom. And you yourself uh, just become that person we talked about yesterday that you are. Allow yourself to be who you really are, not who people want you to be. Do not worry about being different. It's time to stand up, guys. It's time to stand up and be your unique uh, self that you are because you're all beautiful. All right. I want you to know, guys, I love you all. And I'm very grateful that you're coming to my channel. I hope you feel safe here. I hope that you're enjoying the readings. And if you are, again, please subscribe and like the channel. Take care.